illegal trade of wild animals is now the world's fourth largest international crime. Many of the animals are killed only for their highly sought-after parts. Uh, for rhinos, it's their horns, and for elephants, it's their ivory tusks. A scientist at the University of Washington in Seattle has developed a new method for tracking where seized elephant tusks originated. Viewers, George Putich has more. Vast expenses and undeveloped infrastructure in the African countryside make monitoring and fighting the illegal trade in elephant tusks very difficult. In 2011, authorities seized 41 tons of tusks, while in 2013, that number rose to 51 tons. The estimated number of elephants killed rose from 40,000 to more than 50,000. Intercepted ivory is routinely destroyed, but other shipments are never detected. So one of the most important tools for fighting the crime is precise mapping of the poaching hotspots and trade routes. University of Washington researcher Samuel Wasser pioneered a new way to monitor wildlife over large areas by collecting their DNA samples. He spoke via Skype. We get DNA from um, elephant dung, their feces, because it's very accessible, um, as well as tissue or hair when we can, but, but mainly our, our DNA comes from the dung. Wasser and his team collected DNA from 1,500 individual elephants and from unique family groups, which gave them a nice continuous distribution of elephants across the continent. Once we had that and we had a software that allowed us to um, be able to show the differences that this yielded between populations, then it was simply a matter of getting the DNA from the ivory, from the seizures, and matching it to that gene frequency map. Wasser says they were surprised to find out that almost 100% of the ivory poached over the last decade came from just two places, a triangle covering parts of Gabon, Republic of Congo, Cameroon and Central African Republic, and the biggest one in southern Tanzania and northern Mozambique. He says the situation is becoming critical. So if we don't do something soon, we are going to lose elephants over most of Africa, and this is going to cause irreversible ecological damage. Wasser says his lab is working closely with both U.S. law enforcement agencies and Interpol in turning all the collected results into a law enforcement action. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.